Introduction We all see a wide variety of plants and animals around us. Do you know, Shruti? There are more than 1 million species of animals around whole earth and about half a million species of plants on earth. On one hand, we have bacteria which are microscopic and on the other hand, we have blue whale, about 30 meters or redwood trees, sequoia of California of about 100 meters in height. Likewise, insects have lifespan of few days while trees especially pine trees, live for 1,000 years. Every organism is different from others. Yes, in our class also, no two students are similar. Anurag is tallest, while Shilpa is shortest in height. Similarly, nose of Deepti is sharp and pointed, while Akshay's nose is flat and broad. Kriti has small hands with small hand span, while Deepak has big hands with big hand span. These differences are within a species. But within a genus, there are some similarities like human beings, chimpanzees, gorilla and monkeys are all alike. Similarly, among plants, melon, watermelon, bitter gourd, pumpkin, bottle gourd, cucumber etc. have many similarities. But when we study two genus, then we find out they are entirely different. Let us do an activity to find out the similarities within a genus and differences among various genera. When we study physical characters of Desi cow and Jersey cow, we find very few differences. But when we see them in a crowd, then Jersey cow can be distinguished from a distance due to its height and stature. But when we look at cow and monkey, then we find that man resembles more to a monkey than a cow. Although all are mammals. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Identify basis of classification Understand classification and evolution. Understand the hierarchy of classification groups. Understand the characters of Kingdom Monera. Understand the characters of Kingdom Protista. Understand the characters of Kingdom Fungi. Understand the characters of Kingdom Plantae. Find out the divisions of Kingdom Plantae. Basis of Classification We have already discussed that the diversity of living beings on Earth has evolved slowly over millions of years. The variety is so diverse that we can study all of the species one by one in a lifetime. So we try to find out the similarities among the organisms so that we can keep them into different classes, groups, genera or species and then study them. This grouping is known as classification. Why do we actually need classification is a big question. We have some points to make it clear. Classification makes the study of a wide variety of organisms easy. Classification is the tool by which one can deal with great diversity of living forms. Classification projects before us a picture of all life forms at a glance. Classification is essential to understand the interrelationships among different groups of organisms. Classification forms a base for the development of the other biological sciences. Do you all know that it was Aristotle, 384 to 322 BC, also known as father of zoology, who for the first time classified animals into two groups. Animals that can fly, that live in air. Animals unable to fly, that live on land or water. Main drawback of Aristotle's classification was that altogether different organisms were placed in same group, 
and similar organisms were placed in separate groups. Like corals, whales, octopuses, starfish, and sharks are entirely different animals living in sea. So there is need to decide what characteristics should be considered for classifying living organisms. Do you know what is characteristics? I think it is a particular form or a particular function of an organism. These characteristics should be interrelated. Some of them are as follows. Cell structure, unicellular or multicellular, autotrophic or heterotrophic, level of organization and body design. Classification and evolution. It was considered that present living species appeared on earth in existing from two centuries ago. We all know that origin and diversity in species have been explained on the basis of evolution. The species changed slowly over generation. In due course of time, the various groups of plants and animals have developed. As a result, many different species evolved, each of which adapted itself for a particular environment. Evolution also explains the resemblance between different species. This is due to the reason that all these species are related by the descent which have common ancestor. So the process of evolution from a single ancestral species of a variety of forms which occupy somewhat different habitats is called adaptive radiation. During the course of evolution we find some groups of organisms have ancient body designs which have not changed much. These organisms are known as primitive or lower organisms. While there is another groups of organisms which have acquired their body designs during the course of evolution, these are known as advanced or higher organisms. Biodiversity We can define the diversity of life forms is known as biodiversity. Diverse life forms share the environment and are affected by each other too. As a result, stable community of different species comes into existence. During the process of development, human beings have also changed the balance of environment by affecting particular characteristics of land, water, air, etc. There are approximately 10 millions of species on the planet Earth, but only 1 to 2 million of them are known to us as we have discussed earlier. Approximately 1 million of these organisms are insects. 50% of these organisms live in tropical rainforests which have not been still explored. The warm and humid tropical regions of Earth between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn are rich in biodiversity, so these are called the region of megadiversity. The biodiversity is concentrated in a few countries due to the presence of favorable climatic conditions. About 50% of planet's biodiversity can be found in countries like Australia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, China, India, Indonesia, Madagascar, Malaysia, Mexico, Peru, and Zaire. The Hierarchy of Classification Groups We can define The hierarchy is a system of classification into which Taxonomy categories are placed into order of logical sequence. Some eminent biologists such as Ernst Haeckel, 1894, Robert Whittaker, 1959, and Carl Woos, 1977, tried to classify all living organisms into broad categories called kingdoms. Robert Whittaker, 
proposed five kingdom system in 1969 which has become a popular standard and with some refinement is still used in many works and forms the basis for newer multi kingdom systems it is based mainly on differences in nutrition his plantae were mostly multicellular autotrophs his animalia multicellular heterotrophs and his fungi multicellular saprotrophs the remaining two kingdoms protista and monera included unicellular and simple cellular colonies later on carl woos made little modification by dividing monera into two sub kingdoms archaebacteria and eubacteria all the organisms are classified into various levels as follows kingdom phylum animals division plants class order family genus species so we can say the basic unit of classification is species now we are going to discuss important characters of the five kingdoms kingdom monera do you know the main characteristics of kingdom monera are that they lack nuclear membranes they are devoid of plastids mitochondria and advanced 9 plus 2 strand flagella they are typically unicellular organisms the predominant mode of nutrition is absorptive but some groups are photosynthetic or chemosynthetic reproduction is primarily asexual by fission or budding monran cells are microscopic most organisms bear a rigid cell wall example anabena nostoc oscillatoria bacteria the kingdom monera is divided into two sub kingdoms archaebacteria eubacteria kingdom protista all single celled eukaryotes are placed under protista the protista have simple organization either they are unicellular or they are multicellular without specialized tissues this simple cellular organization distinguishes the protista from other eukaryotes such as fungi animals and plants The term protista was first used by Ernst Haeckel in 1866. Protista were traditionally subdivided into several groups based on similarities to the higher kingdoms. The one-celled animal-like protozoa, the plant-like protophyta, mostly one-celled algae, and the fungus-like slime molds and water molds. Protista live in almost any environment. that contains liquid water many protista such as the algae are photosynthetic and are vital primary producers in ecosystems particularly in the ocean as part of the plankton being eukaryotes the protistant cell body contains a well defined nucleus and other membrane bound organelles some have flagella or cilia Protista reproduce asexually and sexually by a process involving cell fusion and zygote formation. They may be divided into chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, and protozoans under protista. Examples: algae, diatoms, and protozoans. kingdom fungi it is the kingdom of multicellular heterotrophic decomposers for example yeast muco agaricus etc these heterotrophic may be saprophytes or parasites a fungus occurs in soil air water and parasitic on plants as well as the animals 
These are non-chlorophyllous organisms. Their body consists of hypha. They are unicellular, for example, yeast which is used to make bread and beer. Cell wall of fungi consists of chitin and polysaccharides. Fungi make symbiotic association with algae in lichens. Fungi reproduce by fragmentation, fission, budding, conidia, and sexually by oospores, zygopores, ascopores, and basidiopores, etc. Spore producing bodies are known as the fruiting bodies. These are spore producing achlorophyllous organisms like mildew, rhizopus, muco, rusts, bracket fungi, morals, and mushrooms. Some fungi cause diseases. For example, rust is caused by pachinia, the smut is caused by ustilago, penicillium produces antibiotic. Kingdom Plantae Plants are living organisms belonging to the kingdom plantae. The plant cells have an eukaryotic structure with prominent chloroplasts and cell wall mainly made of cellulose. Plantae includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophyta, gymnosperms and angiosperms. The scientific study of plants known as botany has identified about 350,000 extant species of plants defined as seed plants, bryophytes, ferns and fern allies. They include familiar organisms such as trees, herbs, bushes, grasses, vines, ferns, mosses and green algae. As of 2004, some 2,87,655 species had been identified, of which 2,58,650 are flowering and 18,000 are bryophytes. Green plants, sometimes called viridi plantae, obtain most of their energy from sunlight via a process called photosynthesis. A few members are partially heterotrophic such as the insectivorous plants and parasites. Bladderwort and Venus flytrap, examples of insectivorous plants, and cuscata is a parasite. Division of Kingdom Plantae Kingdom Plantae is further divided into various divisions at the first level, according to fact that plant body has well differentiated distinct components. Kingdom plantae is next divided into various divisions according to the fact that differentiated plant body has special tissues for the transport of water and other substances within it. Kingdom plantae is further divided into various divisions according to ability to bear seeds and the weather seeds are enclosed within fruits. Kingdom plantae is further divided into two divisions, cryptogams with spores hidden reproductive organs. Thalophytes, bryophytes and pteridophytes come under this division. Phanerogams with seeds, gymnosperms and angiosperms come under this division. Division Thalophyta Do you know that Thalophyta is derived from Greek words thallus, which means plant body without root, stem and leaves, plus phyta, a plant. So the plants do not have well differentiated body design. The plants in this group are commonly known as algae. Thalophytes are mainly aquatic plants. Some common examples of algae are Eulothrix, Spirogyra, Chara, Cladophora, and Ulva. Division Bryophyta 
Similarly, bryophyta is derived from Greek words bryon, which means moss or a liverwort, plus phyta, which means a plant. So the plant's body is commonly differentiated to form stem and leaf-like structures. The plants in this group are also known as amphibians. There are no specialized tissue to conduct water and minerals. Some common examples are Funaria, Marcantia, Ritia, and Anthoceros. Division Pteridophyta Likewise, Pteridophyta is derived from Greek words Pteris, fern, plus Phyta, a plant. So the plant's body is commonly differentiated into root, stem, and leaf. There is specialized tissue to conduct water and minerals from one part of the plant body to the other part. Some common examples are Marsilia, Lycopodium, Salaginella, Equisetum, Azola, Adiantum, and Dryopteris. Division Gymnosperms Similarly, gymnosperm is derived from Greek words gymnos, which means naked, plus spermos, which means seed. Gymnosperms are most primitive plants and their seeds are simple and naked, that is, seeds are not enclosed inside a fruit. They are usually evergreen perennial and woody plants. They are further divided into two groups. Cycadi, Coniferi. Some common examples are Jinko, Cycus, and Pinus. Division Angiosperms. Similarly, Angiosperm is derived from Greek words Angion, case cover, plus permos, seed. Angiosperms are highly evolved plants and they produce seeds that are enclosed within the fruit. The reproductive organs are aggregated in a flower, so they are also called flowering plants. Embryos of plant have cotyledons. These cotyledons are leaf-like, so they are also known as seed leaves. On the basis of number of cotyledons present in seeds of plants, angiosperms are divided into two groups. Monocotyledonous, mono is one. Dicotyledonous, di, which is two. Some common examples are pisum, p, selenum, potato, rosa, rose, ficus, banyan, melia, neem, Malus, apple, and magnifera, mango, etc. Did you know? Carolus Linus is known as father of taxonomy. Natural system of classification is based on morphological characters and was proposed by John Ray. Phylogenetic system of classification was proposed by Engler and Prantl and is based on evolutionary relationship. Thomas Cavalier Smith, in his classification of 2004, treats the archaeobacteria as part of a subkingdom of the kingdom bacteria, that is, he rejects the three domain system entirely. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Classification helps us in finding out the diversity of all life forms. The classification of life forms is related to their evolution. The major characteristics considered for classifying all organisms into five major kingdoms are whether they are made up of prokaryotic or eukaryotic cells, whether organisms are unicellular or multicellular, whether organisms have cell wall, whether organisms prepare their own food. 
All living organisms are divided on the above basis into five kingdoms. Mandra, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. Plantae and Animalia are further divided into subdivisions on the basis of increasing complexity of body organization. Plants are divided into five groups. Thalophytes, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, angiosperms.